Welcome to this SIDOX instructional video on how to automatically install and deploy an AIX LPAR in the cloud. This video assumes that you already have a user account at SIDOX, so if you don't already have one, you may want to view the instructional video titled How to Create a New User Account at SIDOX. This video is available from the Knowledge Base under the category of Instructional Videos. You can get to the Knowledge Base from the SIDOX website by going to the main menu bar clicking on support and then go to knowledge base. The first step will be to open a browser window and point the browser to siteox.com that's s-i-t-e-o-x.com and I will do that now siteox.com and you will see the siteox homepage and in the upper right hand corner of that page you'll see a link labeled account. Press this link and it will display a pull down menu and then select login from that menu. The login screen will be displayed where you will enter your email address and password associated with your user account at SIDOX. I have a demo user account set up that I'll use for the purpose of this video so I'll enter video at SIDOX.com and then I'll enter the password associated with that. You would of course enter your own email address and password and then press the login button. The account home screen will be displayed where you can view several different types of information including the number of active services you have and any invoices that are due and any open tickets that you may have, any open support tickets. Since this demo account is a new account, there will not be any active services, invoices due, or open tickets. To automatically install and deploy an AIX LPAR, go to the main menu bar and select hosting and from here select AIX LPARs. And then a screen will be displayed with a couple of options for ordering an AIX LPAR. The first option is for ordering one-time short-term LPARs and the second option is for ordering monthly reoccurring LPARs. Now the difference between these is that the short-term option allows you to lease AIX LPARs by the day or the week or up to a month at a time, whereas the monthly reoccurring option allows you to lease by the month and then automatically reoccurs each month. So with the one-time short-term option, that does not automatically reoccur when the lease expires. You must manually extend or renew the lease if you want to continue the lease. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to order a one-time short-term AIX LPAR. So I will press the Order Now button associated with that option. This will display the product configuration screen which shows some of the configurable options for an AIX LPAR. The first option allows you to configure the amount of time that you want to lease the AIX LPAR. And from the pull down you can see that you can lease by a number of days, weeks, or up to a month at a time. I will choose one day for the purpose of this video and the next option allows you to choose the operating system version that you want. You can choose AIX 7161 or AIX 53 and I'll choose the default option of 71 and then you can pick the number of processors that you want, the amount of memory that you want, and the amount of storage that you want associated with your LPAR. Once you have finished selecting your configurable options then press the Add to Cart button and it will add this order to your shopping cart. This will display the order summary screen where it will show your new order and the options you selected with that order. And you can verify that the order is correct and then either edit or remove that item from the shopping cart if necessary. From this screen you can continue shopping by pressing this button and that will allow you to add additional products and services to your shopping cart before you check out. 
for the purpose of this video I will press the checkout button to continue with the order for this one single item in the shopping cart. This will display the checkout screen where you can finalize your order. This screen shows you all the items that you are ordering but since we only ordered the one item we only see the one item and it shows us the details associated with the user placing the order and it shows us the payment methods that were configured by the user when they set up their user account and then you can also enter any additional notes or instructions for your AIXL bar. Then you need to press the checkbox next to the statement that says you have read and agreed to the terms of service. After that you can press the complete order button to finalize your order and begin the build out process of your newly ordered AIX LPAR. This will display the order confirmation screen. Your order number is displayed on the screen here. And from this screen you can view the new service you just ordered by going to the account menu bar, select services, and then select my services. This will display a screen showing your products and services that you have ordered at Cydox. Now since this demo user account was a new account, it will only have the one service we just ordered, the AIX LPAR. We can also see on this screen that the AIX LPAR is in a pending state. That means it is in the process of being built out. Now, it takes about an hour to create and configure the AI AIX LPAR, so I will pause the video while that takes place and I will resume this video once the build out has completed. I am resuming the video now. The AIX build out is complete and the server is now active and ready for user access. However, we still see this screen showing the AIX LPAR in a pending state. So I will refresh the screen to update that status. And now we see our AIX LPAR in an active state. So the next question is, how do I access the new AIX LPAR that was just built? How do I connect to the new AIX LPAR? Well, during the build out process of your LPAR, you would have been sent an email to inform you that a support ticket was created that contains your connection information. And that email contains a direct link to a support ticket at Cydox. So you can check your email, click on the link within that email, and access that support ticket that contains your connection information. Or you could just go directly to your support tickets from here by going to the account menu bar and going to support and tickets. And that will show you a list of your support tickets and we can see here that we have one support ticket for our, our AIX 7.1 LPAR that contains our connection information. Connection information. So we can see that connection information here but before we do that, let's look at the details of the AIX LPAR that was just built. So to view the details, let's go back to the account menu bar and select services and go back to my services where we were before. And we see our AIX LPAR in an active state. And let's look at the details. And we do that by clicking on the view details button. and that displays the screen containing the details of the AIX LPAR. And from this screen we can see the host name and we can also see the amount of lease time that we selected in our configurable options. We selected one day. We can see the operating system that was selected which was AIX 7.1, the number of processors, the amount of memory, and the amount of storage. So if you scroll down a little bit on this screen, you can also see the expire date and the terminate date of the AIX LPAR. This expire date and time is when the lease will expire on your AIX LPAR. 
at this date and time the LPAR will be suspended but it won't be removed. Everything on the LPAR will still exist and it will just be inaccessible after the expire date and time. The terminate date is when the LPAR will be deleted and removed. <clears throat> after this date and time the LPAR will not be recoverable. Now the web interface will allow you to add time to an active lease by extending the lease. You can extend or add time to the lease up to and until the expired date and time. However, the procedure to extend the AIXL PAR is covered in a different video, so you'll need to see the list of instructional videos in the knowledge base to view that video but be aware that in this view details screen there is a function within this screen to extend your server lease and so you can choose the amount of time that you want to extend the lease here and then press that button to add time to your lease but remember you have to do if you're going to extend your lease extend an existing lease you have to do that before the expired date and time after the expire date and time you have to perform a renew function which is to renew an expired lease. So you can do that uh, again from this screen but that function does not appear until uh, until the lease has expired. Uh, again the procedure to renew is covered in a different video so you'll need to see the knowledge base for that video. So finally let's go look at the connection information so we'll go to the account menu bar and we'll select support and tickets. So this screen displays a list of all your open support tickets and we see the one single support ticket here for our AIX LPAR that contains connection information. So I'll click on this ticket to view its contents and in the support ticket we can see the connection information on how to connect to our AIX LPAR. We can see the host name to connect to, we can see a firewall connection port to use to connect to that LPAR, we can see a randomly generated username and a randomly generated password. And we can also see an SSH command, an example of an SSH command to use to connect to our AIX LPAR. Now be aware that the only firewall port that is opened for your AIX LPAR is the SSH port. So you will have to use an SSH tool to connect to your LPAR. You can use the SSH command as shown here, or you can use PuTTY or some other SSH tool. So to review about how to get to your connection information, uh, you can go to the account menu bar and select support and tickets as we just did and that will show you your support tickets and you would look for your tickets labeled connection information or we could go to the account menu bar select services and my services and then click the view details button and look in the details for a link titled connection information and you can get to that same support ticket through the view details page. And that is it on how to automatically install and deploy an AIX LPAR in the cloud. If you would like additional information on the products and services provided by Cydox, you can go to Cydox.com and look at the knowledge base. Within the knowledge base there are lots of instructional videos that describe how to perform all of the features and functions associated with automated deployment of systems into the cloud. There is also a list of services in the knowledge base provided by Cydox and there are lots of how-to articles there as well. That is the end of this video. Thank you for listening and watching.